Okay, we are on page 48. And the reflect question number one, communicate mathematical ideas. 3 divided by 4 can be written as 3 fourths. How are the dividend and divisor of a division expression related to the parts of a fraction? So what we need to do here is we need to name these, these things. Uh, we learned on the previous page that if we had three blocks of clay divided by four friends, that each friend would get three-fourths of a block of clay. So, so we know that this statement appears true. Three divided by four equals three-fourths. Now what it's basically asking you to do is to name the terms. So we're going to do that. In a division problem, what gets divided is called the dividend. So this first term is the dividend. And in the division problem, what gets um, when the dividend gets divided by a number, that's called the divisor. I'm going to write that right here just to keep it out of the way. And so here's what happens. The dividend becomes, I'm going to change color here just to draw attention to it. The dividend becomes the numerator, and the divisor becomes the denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and type that. It's kind of a summary here. That's kind of what it's asking for. The dividend becomes the, I'm going to say numerator, and the divisor becomes the denominator. And I think that's going to go off the screen, but I can drag it over. I think you can probably see it now. The dividend becomes the numerator, and the divisor becomes the denominator. All right, that's a good answer. Number two reads, analyze relationships. How could you represent the division as a fraction if five people shared two blocks, if six people shared five blocks? So let's go back and um, kind of compare this to what we did uh, on the previous page. On the previous page, we had three blocks of clay divided by four people. This, this one right here is going to be two blocks of clay divided by five people. So two blocks of clay divided by five people is equal to, well, we just decided that the dividend becomes the numerator and the divisor becomes the denominator. And they asked the second question here. What about if six people shared five blocks? Now, if you're wondering on this previous one why I put the two first, it's because we're dividing the clay by the number of people. So the clay is five blocks of clay. So I'm going to do five. We're going to divide that by six people. Five divided by six is, again, the dividend becomes the numerator, and the divisor becomes the denominator. So those are the two answers right there. Okay, let's go ahead and continue down the page. Rational numbers. Definition. A rational number is any number that can be written as A over B. A different way of saying that is as a fraction. I almost would like to rewrite this definition. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. where a and b are integers and b cannot be zero. Basically, the definition might as well be a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. Now let's go talk about why all of these numbers down below here are rational numbers. Um, so look at the directions here. The directions under the example says, write each rational number as, and it basically says as a fraction. I know it says as a over b, but trust me that we can just say as a fraction. Now this first number, uh, a, 3 and 2 fifths, that can be written as a fraction. We practiced that a few days ago um, on the, I think it was about page 40, I think it was page 40, in fact, um, on the Are You Ready page, uh, where we do 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17, and so that's equal to 17 over 5. That's a fraction A over B. And you can see the answer over here, 17 fifths. And can this be written as a fraction? Well, it can, because the proper way to say 0 0.6 is 6 tenths. You're actually supposed to say 6 tenths. Well, 6 tenths is 6 over 10. How about 34? Is that a fraction? Uh, it actually is. 34 is the same thing as 34 over 1. Any whole number can be written over 1. And negative 7, is that a fraction? Well, it can be. Negative 7 over 1. So I want you to notice that all our terms here can be written as a fraction. I know they don't all look like a fraction, but they can all be written as a fraction. 
All right, let's go ahead and move on. Your turn. We're going to do the same thing here um, as what we just learned. In fact, I wonder if I can keep, can pretty much keep this in the screen. All these your turns, and I, I challenge you to do this. I challenge you to practice this. All of these your turns here can be found, the examples right here. So I think you should try um, these problems on your own before I help you with them. Uh, play the video when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so number three is negative 15. We just talked about how any negative number can be written as a fraction over 1. So if you were asked to write each rational number as a fraction A over B, you would write this as negative 15 over 1. And number four, if you can say this properly, 31 hundredths, then you can write it as 31 one hundredths. And number five, four and five ninths is the same as four times nine is 36, plus five is 41, 41 ninths. And the last one, 62, that's the same as any whole number over one, 62 over one. If you got all those right, great job. If not, review the examples above and practice those a little bit more.